Okay. Okay, this is Swamp Fox here. On my way to get my parents' dinner. In here on Darrington Street. We got a bunch of police officers here. And a tow truck putting a look like a Jeep type vehicle on a tow truck. So it's gonna see how close we can get. Looks like most of them are leaving. Tow truck's leaving. Most of the officers are leaving. See what's going on here. You got one police officer over there. You got one over there. One. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten police cars. I no wonder what happened where they needed ten police cars. Eleven. And there's one down the road, way down there, blocking this side of the street. Look like they got one in handcuffs. Twenty feet by law, thank you. Twenty feet by law, thank you. So we've got this gentleman here trying to tell me to step back. Like I don't know the law. They all leave. You got channel 15 down there. There's channel 15 way back there. Don't know what's going on yet. Got one gentleman over here in handcuffs. Got that one over there leaving. like he had a duffel bag. Still not quite, you know, I rolled up, okay, maybe driver, no driver's license, no insurance, because he's got a, a temporary tag, and he did tow the vehicle, but what was the concern about all these uh, officers, I don't know, but this is a gentleman that got in custody at the moment.
So like I said, y'all, I'm not quite sure how come they needed uh, about 12 police officers on this one individual. A lot of our uh, money gone to waste just for one man. Got a gentleman eyeballing me over there. It's complicated his phone. They're searching him. So he is going down the county. They talking over uh, what they're gonna charge them with. I heard him say something about they gonna write them more tickets. But that's the car he's in there. Looks like they about to take off. Take him on down to Effingham. The scene's no longer a scene. But they done took the gentleman out. And whatever happened, Channel 15 got a hold of. And these gentlemen over here, someone ought to know their laws, how far I could be away from a scene trying to give orders to a citizen. Sir, can I ask what happened? For the news purposes, can I ask what happened? Yes. For news purposes, can I ask what happened? No, ma'am. Why y'all needed 12 officers for one man? You can ask the news. This is the news. No, ma'am. Yes, it is. Do you have any verification that you're the <laughs> First Amendment audit. First Amendment, sir. First okay. Amendment gives everybody a news pass. Yes, ma'am. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> Another tyrant that don't know the First Amendment and don't uphold this First Amendment. Wow. Seems like we got to teach these fellas. Don't know the First Amendment. They, you got, news pass is a fade. You don't have to have a news pass. Everybody was born with one. But it seems like they wasted our money on uh, one individual. Let's see what he's going to do with this tape here. after everybody's gone. You putting me inside the crime scene? I'm putting you outside. You're in it right now. I know. If you put it by law, if you put that up, I'm inside the crime scene. No, by law, if you put me in it, I got to stay in it. Now I'm out of it. That's what 
what you do when you don't want people to know what you're doing. The people that you work for. The citizens. What you trying to hide? <laughs> what blows up? <laughs> uh, Supreme Court says our safety is not y'all's concern. Look there. Uh-huh. So right there. <coughs> so right there, y'all. They're concerned about this thing right here blowing up right next to their truck. They're concerned about something blowing up right next to their truck in a bottle. If it was, if it, if that concerned, they would have had a bomb squad out here, and they wouldn't have it right next to the par, par, uh, public property. That's what they're concerned about, y'all. That bottle right there. Don't know the First Amendment. Boo Boo the Fool don't know the First Amendment is our press pass. If it blows up, you're not worried about my property blowing up. I paid for that truck. That was smart, y'all. Look, there's where the so-called thing is supposed to blow up at right there. And they got crime scene blocked right here <laughs> and I'm right here <laughs> I 
That shows that, that, how intelligent they are. <laughs> so undoubtedly there's an explosive right there right next to the truck and they standing right next to it so it's 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 not concerned that it's going to blow up it's just that i'm here <laughs> laugh 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 That made a lot of sense. Y'all see this line, right? I don't know if y'all can see it good. See it's right there at that pole. And it goes from that pole. And it goes to that truck. And the so-called explosive is right there. It's a little cloudy today y'all that's why y'all see the darkness here and the lightness over here but there's a brown bottle and a plastic bag and two other bottles and one of them looks like a, a starter for um, the coal for your uh, hamburgers you know But they hanging around waiting for somebody to come pick up this dangerous, dangerous bomb that everybody's standing so close to. There's an officer there. Let me back up just in case they want to move this stuff. Got the police there. Look like they're gonna tape up some more shit. There's Mr. Intelligent roping off something I could still stand next to.
so I could even stand closer. <laughs> it's, it's actually on top of the bomb, y'all. <laughs> You should run at that tree first and then to the truck. <laughs> hey, smarty pants, you should have went to that tree and then to the truck. You ride over the bomb. <laughs> There's a tree right there. He could have put the crime scene tape around that tree and then to the truck. But no, he puts it right on top of the so-called explosive. Very intelligent. <laughs> Got all this blocked off. Hey, baby. Yes. Hey, honey, yeah. I'm the lady on YouTube. I'm Swamp Fox. Where you find Oh, he's at home. He didn't know I was coming here to pick up my um, parents and food. And I happened to come across this. But uh, right here is supposed to be some explosive. Oh, and you see, he's got the crime scene parked all over here and got that right over the explosive. Yeah. Uh, we do, you might know. So we say, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm Swamp Fox. Yeah. I ain't got my regular cane with me today, but yeah, I'm her. You remember, um, I was in court with you, and y'all were telling me how uh, so we try to talk to the judge about getting some stuff going out, and it worked out for me. Good. Good. We're still in uh, the uh, city of uh, Florence right now, and the highway. Uh, the chef of Florence uh -huh. right now for putting their hands on us and uh, telling us to do what we know we shouldn't do or so could you, do. You were able to yeah, like this idiot here, you know, told me he got the crime scene and all this stuff. Stuff He put up the tape. It got all that blocked off. There's nothing there and the tape's going right over the explosive right there. And I told him, I said, why didn't you run it to the tree and then to the truck? Smart ass. Because he's a rocket scientist. Yeah, he's a rocket scientist. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be on the news tonight. So uh, you got 15 over there and somebody over there that was. So it's a real life explosive or a meth lab? Probably a little bit of meth stuff because it's a brown bottle and then they, it looks like uh, that lighter fluid for a grill or something, you know? Did they take somebody to jail? Yeah, they took a guy to jail. I, I'll, put it, I'll put it up after this. And, okay. uh, I'll be watching. Yeah, What's the name of the channel again? Uh, Swamp Fox and Carolina Guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Nice to meet you. You too. All right, baby. All right. All right. Tell your son I say hello. All right. That was some of our fans, y'all. Yeah, go! <laughs> that was some of my fans. They recognized me right off the bat. Well, it looks like it's going to rain, so I'm going to cut this one short, and we'll find off the news what these uh, fools are doing with this so-called bomb that's so con uh, so concerned about that they got the tape <laughs> they got the tape going right over it right there look at her <laughs> they got the tape going right over it there it is instead of having to go around this tree and going over there so now you know i can legally walk closer to it <laughs> and there it is that's what he's got so uh <laughs> and he's talking about he worried about my safety <laughs> what a joke <laughs> what a joke but that's what he's got that shit ain't gonna blow up all right y'all Swamp Fox out. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Watch the idiots with the <laughs> crime scene. We're going right there at the damn bottles that I got closer to than where I was. Brilliant, guys. Brilliant. <laughs>